An update about that deadly commuter train crash in New Jersey. Federal investigators late today releasing these photos of mangled wreckage inside the terminal and revealing what the engineer says happened just before the train slammed into that station. ABC's Eva Pilgrim is in Hoboken tonight. Tonight, for the first time, the engineer's account of what happened in the moments before that train full of commuters crashed, killing one person, injuring 114 others. He looked at his watch and noticed his train was about six minutes late arriving at Hoboken. He said that when he checked the speedometer, he was operating at 10 miles per hour when entering the station track. Thomas Gallagher, the 48-year-old engineer, says he has no memory of the accident, only waking up on the floor of the cab. Another setback in the search for answers, this event recorder recovered from the back of the train wasn't working. We want to get in and get the exact uh, speed of the train. New Jersey Transit had been under investigation by the Federal Railroad Administration for the past five years, finding 183 safety violations, some related to employee drug and alcohol use, and almost $5 million in damage to tracks and equipment. The train is required by law to have a working front event recorder, so investigators are hopeful that front car will have some much needed answers once they are able to get in there. Tom? Eva Pilgrim, Eva, thank you.